look at that little son of a gun. It's a brown recluse spider, one of the two venomous spiders in Kansas. It normally lives outdoors in wood piles, under tree bark, and other such places. It belongs out there, but not in your house, and unfortunately it loves to work its way inside. Brown recluse spiders can be identified by the fiddle-shaped marking on the spider's back. It's not aggressive, but it has a bad habit of getting into closets, drawers, and even beds. It bites when crushed against the skin. It can cause serious problems, but usually the bite heals all right in about a week. My daughter was bitten on the point of the elbow last year and the first day left a mild red area around the darker bite mark. The affected area grew into a hot red patch by the third day. And by the seventh day, most of her arm was affected as the poison worked through the tissue. But after that, it rapidly returned to normal without scarring. In bad cases, the bite can create gangrenous loss of flesh, sometimes to the bone. The powerful venom can overcome prey much larger than the spider. I watched a young brown recluse attack a carpenter ant, seizing and biting it twice as the ant crossed a garage floor. At once, the large ant began to succumb. After about two minutes, the spider dragged its meal away. Watch for this unsavory dude. Brown spiders can multiply rapidly inside your home. If you see one, hey, hey now, hey, don't let that thing bite. Oh, never mind. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.